What's your name, sir? Jeff Dahmer. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most anticipated true crime releases of 2023. For God's sake, don't get caught. <laughs> For this list, we'll be looking at the most talked about true crime movies and series with likely release dates in 2023. Which title are you most looking forward to? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, Firebug. Coming off the success of the 2022 Apple TV Plus crime drama Blackbird, writer Dennis Lehane is set to develop another series for the streamer. He's teaming up again with British actor Taron Egerton, who starred as convicted drug dealer Jimmy Keen in Blackbird. You mentioned the point a while back. You in a rush? because we can let you get back to it. The new crime drama Firebug will center on serial arsonist John Leonard Orr, the former firefighter and arson investigator who lit fires around California in the 1980s and 90s. Both Lehane and Edgerton are executive producers, with Edgerton stepping into the lead role as Orr. The series is based on events covered in Truth Media's podcast of the same name. This has to be a message that the arsonist is sending to us, saying, in effect, now, I'm going to give you my calling card and prove to you that this is arson. Number nine, the White House plumbers. Gentlemen, the president needs men of action. Your new mission is to make sure he wins this election. What are we talking about here? The infamous Watergate scandal in the 1970s is a high profile story ripe for the Hollywood treatment. In March, 2023, HBO Max will debut its new political drama, The White House Plumbers. Based on Eagle Crow and Matthew Crow's 2007 book, Integrity, Good People, Bad Choices, and Life Lessons from the White House. We have recruited covert operatives to plant surveillance inside the Watergate. The five-episode limited series follows two of President Richard Nixon's operatives who, despite intentions of protecting the presidency, ultimately had it overturned. People need to understand why we did what we did. Sometimes I find it confusing. And we did it. Woody Harrelson and Justin Thoreau star as the titular plumbers, E. Howard Hunt and G. Gordon Liddy, respectively leading a star-studded cast including the likes of Lena Headey, Kathleen Turner, and Judy Greer. Who really killed JFK? Oh, Christ. Number 8, January 6th. Known for their 2002 documentary 9-11, Zhu and Gideon Nude will bring another story of American tragedy to Discovery Plus in 2023. What we wanted to show was to not, to, to, we wanted to be apolitical in a way. We didn't want to do a political investigation about, you know, why it happened, what happened before, after, the impeachment, all that. All we wanted to, to show was the human stories. Titled January 6th, the docuseries will cover the chaos and violence from the 2021 attack on the U.S. Capitol. It'll feature first-hand accounts by House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, Congresswoman Liz Cheney, over 50 senators, as well as first responders and those who survived the harrowing ordeal. The New Days were also able to gain full access to the Capitol's and Metropolitan Police Department's officers. Because we interviewed about, in there, there's about 16 of them that have, for, I think, all of but two have never spoken. The docuseries had its world premiere at the Hamptons International Film Festival in 2022, but it'll make its streaming debut on January 5th, 2023 a day before the two-year anniversary. No, you have those police officers, you have those journalists, those staffers, those politicians. You remove the uniform, you remove the title, you remove, and you just have people who did the right thing. Number seven, Under the Bridge. In her 2005 bestseller, Under the Bridge, author Rebecca Godfrey examined the shocking murder of Canadian teen Rena Verk in 1997. Rena Verk, a troubled 14-year-old outcast searching for acceptance, was invited by a friend to a party. Verk was attacked by a group of girls, some of whom were classmates and one boy who had no relationship to her. He and another girl would ultimately take her life. And it didn't seem this way when I was growing up. And now out there, um, I just want I just want to warn them that uh, that don't let this happen to you. For three years, filmmaker Quinn Shepard worked with Godfrey on adapting the book into a TV series for Hulu. Production on Under the Bridge began in December 2022, with Riley Keough playing the author as she conducts extensive research for her book. I just meant it would be a lot better, I think, for both of us if we could talk. Sadly, Godfrey passed away in October before the project was finished. Number six, The Watcher. In 2018, Reeves Weiderman of New York's The Cut published an article about a New Jersey family being tormented with letters signed by someone calling themselves The Watcher. 
Award-winning series creator Ryan Murphy adapted the unbelievable story into a seven-episode limited series for Netflix, or so he thought. 657 Boulevard has been the subject of my family for decades now, and as it approaches its 100th birthday, I've been put in charge of watching and waiting for its second coming. Shortly after debuting in October 2022, The Watcher was renewed for a second season. And since the first season deviated significantly from true events, it's hard to say where season two will go with the story. This has to stop. What if you're right, okay? He's, he's just a guy, right? Just a guy, just an imposter, just somebody who, who, who was put up to it, right? Given the fan response to the unsatisfying finale, viewers definitely want some answers to their endless questions. Specifically, who is the Watcher? Welcome to the product of your greed. Greed is what brought the past three families to 657 Boulevard, and now, it has brought you to me. Welcome. You know I will be watching. Number 5. Murdoch Murders Since 2014, the prominent Murdoch family of South Carolina have been making headlines for their ties to several crimes, including insurance fraud, embezzlement, and murder. This morning, Alec Murdoch is again under arrest. Alex Murdoch and other family members have allegedly been involved in the suspicious deaths of Stephen Smith, Gloria Satterfield, Mallory Beach, and Paul and Maggie Murdoch. South Carolina prosecutors, nonetheless, painting a picture of why they think Murdoch might have done the unthinkable. The scion of a prominent family, about to be exposed, they said, for years of financial crimes. The saga has been the subject of multiple documentaries and podcasts, so it was only a matter of time before it was dramatized. In November 2022, it was announced that Hulu was developing a scripted series based on Mandy Matney's popular Murdoch Murders podcast. Given the strong interest surrounding the never-ending case, we wouldn't be surprised if the series was released by late 2023. He has been getting away with drugs and God only knows what else for years and years and years. Why would he think this would be any different? Number four, Boston Strangler. In the space of 10 weeks, the mystery killer had claimed the lives of five elderly women. But the Boston Strangler's reign was far from over. And it was about to take a new twist that would leave the city paralyzed with fear. Infamous serial killer Albert DeSalvo, AKA the Boston Strangler, took the lives of 13 women in the early 1960s. However, there have been doubts about the killer's true identity in the decades since. I don't belong here. Mm -hmm. I, I guess everybody says that, don't they? Mm -hmm. While the 1968 film starring Tony Curtis had DeSalvo at its center, Hulu's upcoming Boston Strangler focuses on reporter Loretta McLaughlin, the first to break the story. Keira Knightley stars as McLaughlin with Carrie Coon as fellow reporter Jean Cole. The two women face the sexism of the time while covering the headline-making case, keeping other women informed about the predator stalking the city. The stranglings have become the chief topic of conversation between housewives on the telephone, co-eds between classes, and secretaries during coffee breaks. Production on the film wrapped in March 2022, putting its release date sometime in 2023. Number 3. Love and Death Please don't say anything or I'm never going to get this out. But I find you attractive. And, well, I'd like to have an affair. Hulu's 2022 series Candy centered around Texas housewife and accused axe murderer Candace Montgomery. In 1980, she killed her neighbor and church friend Betty Gore with an axe, and on Friday the 13th, no less. Jessica Biel helped develop the series as both the star and executive producer. In 2023, HBO Max will release their own take on the story, Love and Death, starring Elizabeth Olsen in the title role and Lily Rabe as Betty. The title comes from Texas Monthly's two-part expose, Love and Death in Silicon Prairie, written by journalists John Bloom and Jim Atkinson, who also penned Evidence of Love, a true story of passion and death in the suburbs. The series will premiere sometime in 2023. I'm very attracted to you. Would you be interested in having an affair? Number two, Killers of the Flower Moon. Envy and greed led to Anna's death during an era that held the Osage Nation in a grip of fear. From 1918 to 1931, Oklahoma had a series of unsolved murders in Osage County called the Reign of Terror. The victims were Native Americans of the Osage Nation, who had rights over oil-rich lands. David Grant's 2017 book, Killers of the Flower Moon, details the investigation conducted by the nascent Federal Bureau of Investigation. Martin Scorsese has adapted the book into a film of the same name starring Leonardo DiCaprio, marking their sixth major project together. Pull yourself together, Teddy. The film also stars celebrated actors including Robert De Niro and Brendan Fraser. I need to know that I have done one thing right with my life. 
The pair's latest feature will premiere in May at the 2023 Cannes Film Festival and on Apple TV Plus likely soon after. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Monster Home sweet home. 2022 was a great year for Ryan Murphy. Through his deal with Netflix, he released two chart-topping original series within a month of each other. And while The Watcher was certainly a hot topic, nothing could compare to the praise and controversy of Dahmer, Monster, the Jeffrey Dahmer story. Sir, we're under arrest for the attempted murder. The man out there, you have the right to remain silent. The series debuted in September and quickly dominated the platform. It was renewed for two seasons as an anthology series covering different infamous serial killers. As of December 2022, no other details have been released. However, fans speculate Season 2's killer could be John Wayne Gacy, since he was featured in Dahmer. You go to that bar a lot? Because I've never seen you in there before. Murphy's deal with Netflix reportedly expires in July 2023, meaning there's a chance we might get a new season sooner rather than later. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.